This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Real Madrid facing Manchester City. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium, and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? And now the Champions League final commences. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Carvajal starts with Ferlon Mendy in the fullback positions. Kylian Mbappe plays with Lionel Messi in the wide midfield positions. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. take the chance oh it's in Real Madrid make the opening statement in the final and it could be massively important well as you can see his movement is really good which then makes the finish look easy that's a decent goal that's for sure once more, Real Madrid with the lead here Holland determined defending Ronaldo the referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City well, later in the game he might have seen yellow but not at this early point yeah but I'm with the referee it's a foul but no card De Bruyne shielding the ball superbly John Stones high quality defending Gundogan Diesch Manuel Akanji now a potentially dangerous position for City promising position this a smart stop here Short option preferred. Excellent use of advantage from the referee and quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking.
Head over towards the back post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. A City free kick forthcoming. Akanji Gundogan putting his body on the line and he went for power and might be regretting that now and it will be a free kick to Real Madrid There you can see Real Madrid haven't been able to control possession, but what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Holland. John Stones. And he favours the inside route. Superb block. That's going to be a City ball. And he'll go back and hand out a yellow card here. Yeah, he was always going to go back for that challenge. It was a poor one, you have to say. And see your players waiting in the middle. John Stones. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And so it is. The first half story has been written. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will... Into the second half then, in this battle for Champions League glory. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. And he takes it on. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made from moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Grealish. Rodri. On to Holland. Holland. This looks threatening. Well, let's just take another look at this pass from Haaland. He has so much vision and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So Real restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they find an equaliser? Thirty minutes to go then. 
Kamavinga. Modric. David Alaba. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. He's managed to lose his marker. De Bruyne. Can he put it in? Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Lionel Messi. Plenty of support here. Holland. Well, it would have been a chance, but the run was missed time. Offside. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Marco Asensio. This is Alaba. Kylian Mbappe. The ball with Luka Modric. They're showing a willingness to attack as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. A change in the offing for City. Lionel Messi. Mbappe. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Asensio. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Good pressure high up the pitch. Mbappe. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Mbappe. And there it is, full-time Manchester City Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners... Manchester City well this is what they wanted what a moment for these players they've worked so hard to win this trophy they've been fantastic and you can feel the emotion it's natural to reflect on this final but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign memories memories what would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters. Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and